channel. Today I'll be doing a plan with me and I think this one's gonna be um, a little bit more fun. Not like, <laughs> I don't know, not like fun fun, but like, I don't know. Normally I don't really have that many plans, but this upcoming week I do. So at least it's not gonna be like super boring and generic. Um, but first I am using my, um, stickers from my Etsy shop. This is kit 42. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and I do run an Etsy sticker shop. Um, I wanted to use my Mother's Day kit for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, let me get my uh, ruler real quick. I always forget to do this. I always forget to get like everything ready. <laughs> um, I feel like I have not been on here on, in a hot minute, which I probably haven't. Um, so I guess I can just start catching you up on things. So last week, I couldn't really talk much about what was going on because I was throwing a surprise bridal shower for my mom. And that was like the hardest thing I've had to do. My Nana, which is my mom's mom, uh, was helping me throughout everything. So, I mean, I definitely would not have been able to do this without her. Um, it was her idea. I was thinking about it. And then like the next day she texted me and she's like, Hey, you want to throw your mom a surprise bridal shower? And I was like, did you just like read my mind? <laughs> so we did that. And, um, I mean, everything turned out great. It's just me and my mom are very, very close and she is moving very soon. Um, oops, I didn't mean to get that one. Um, so we are with each other about 24 seven. <laughs> so when I was trying to throw this bridal shower, she kept texting me and calling me, what do you want to do? And you know, in New York, it's been kind of nice here. Um, the weather has been like, I don't know, it's been decent for the most part, but the last, like, I don't know, it was like in the you know, 50s and 60s, um, which was really nice. And then all of a sudden it was dropping down to like the 30s and stuff um, again. And then we had a couple of nice days where it was about 75, 80. Um, so we were enjoying those days like you went outside and if you drove around, all you saw was people doing stuff to their yard and mowing and raking leaves and everything else um so yeah so everyone was always outside doing everything enjoying the the couple days that we had um of nice day and so the day that i threw my mom's bridal shower it was the highest um, it has been. It was an 80 degree day and it was so nice. So of course my mom was like, hey, what are we doing on this really nice day? And I just kept like blowing her off basically if, because I needed to get stuff ready for her party, which obviously she didn't know about. So she was getting frustrated with me, right? And she's like, why are you being so difficult today? And I'm like, listen lady, you'll find out. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, that was how my weekend went and, ooh, yeah, let's put this down here actually. Um, that is how my weekend went with her and my, my, uh, surprise bridal shower and whatnot, um. It did turn out really good. She was very surprised. Um, if I think about it, when I edit this video, I will try to insert the clip here so you guys can see. Yeah, she's good. I, uh, 
what else? She kept um, bothering me that morning. Not bothering me, I say that, but like she wasn't bothering me. It was just I was trying to get things done. <laughs> and so I had to like lie to her and say, hey, I'm going to take a nap. Like, hey, don't come down to my house just randomly because we live seven houses apart. So she'll just randomly show up some days. <laughs> so my excuse to not get her to show up was, hey, I'm sleeping. Like, there's no point in you coming over. And then she was like, well, you just kept texting me back. So I just kept texting you. And she wanted to go to Michael's. And she wanted to go to Home Depot. And she wanted to go to Lowe's. And she wanted to go here and there. And I was like, I can't go. I need to go grocery shopping. Oh, well, let me come with you. <laughs> and I was just like, no. <laughs> because if I let her come with me, like, maybe I could blow off if I was just getting food items. But I wasn't. I was getting like balloons and banners and food and you know everything I was getting everything and I was just like no 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 <laughs> you can't come with me so I had to have her friends text her and distract her that way um because I was like man she just she just won't leave me alone which is I mean I love it but at the same time when I'm trying to throw her a surprise party she did this also when I threw her a surprise 50th. So that was a whole ordeal and a half in itself. My mom turned 50 in uh, 2019, at the end of 2019. Um, so it was actually like one last like hurrah. I mean, obviously nobody knew that then, but um, I'm glad that that's when it was. And I threw her like, this like 60s like disco I know like disco is like more 70s but she was born 1969 so I was like it's passable so I did all this like you know disco and groovy and all this other stuff because that's when she grew up and so it was really fun um but I even that one I was like man she walked in for her surprise bridal shower and I said, this is the last surprise party you'll ever get from me because it is so difficult to get her. Like, she is just somebody that, I don't know, it's just hard to throw a shower for her just because I'm always with her. So, I feel like it would have been easier both times if I had the shower somewhere else. But both times I had it um, at our house. So, like, I was living with her for her uh, 50th. And she was like, oh, I'm going to be gone, you know, this weekend. And I was like, oh, okay, no problem. And so the person that she was with, I was like, hey, on Saturday, can you bring her home for something? I don't know what. Just say, hey, let's stop at your house real quick to grab something or whatever. And boom, there, surprise. And I didn't have to worry about her coming home. I could grocery shop. I could set up. I could talk about it if I needed to. Whatever it was, like she was gone, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But okay, so I'm very sad to inform you guys that I have no idea when my um, phone cut off with recording. But this is where we are at now. So, I don't know where it left off, obviously. So, basically, I put in my shell, put in my videos. I have a budget set up, a plan with me, a weekly check-in. Um, I did put in my habit trackers. We are still binge-watching Breaking Bad. I'm still currently reading The Other Misses. Um, but I did pick that up last night, so hopefully I will get back into reading that. On Monday, I do have a road trip back from Western New York to Central New York, and so we will be coming. I'll be there on Monday. I'll be coming back on Tuesday at some point. Monday, I'll also have to help my mom call the insurance company. In her new house, we are getting the carpets um, installed, and then on Tuesday, the dog has a vet appointment, but I don't know what time that is at yet. Wednesday will be my first full day back at home, so I'm sure I'll just be relaxing because we will be painting probably on Monday. Um, and I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how far it got, but um, 
oh what was I just about to say I don't know how far it got but my mom is getting married um in two days so if you're watching this on the 28th um, when it comes out, then this Saturday, my mom is getting married, so it's going to be a very busy weekend. On Thursday, we always have garbage night, so this is where I was going to start filling back in. So I will have to do my um, like weekly duties on Thursday, which is cleaning out the fridge. Um deep cleaning the cat litter boxes and care area and then um i think i think it'll be back to card no it's this week is cardboard so it's co-mingle so it, so it'd be recycling And then, um, oh, I collect all of the, like, little garbage cans. Um, and then I put it by the curb. And then I also have to film, edit, and upload my videos. And then on Friday is our payday, and we do have a garage sale, and that is from 8 to 2, and then Saturday is also our garage sale, and that is from 8 to 2 again. I will have a plan with me go up Thursday, a weekly check-in go up on Friday, and then Sunday I've just been sitting here contemplating, obviously by myself because my phone stopped recording, is... It is Mother's Day, but I have a Mother's Day brunch, and then I also have, like, a Mother's Day, like, lunch dinner type of thing. Um, I have something, I think, at 11, and then something at 2, and I don't know if I just want to use, like, the big full box and mark those, or if I want to use this cute sticky note. But I think I'm going to use the full box, even though I literally just bent it on accident, but that's okay. So... I'm sure I'll use this sticky note for something else. And just because um, this full box covers both times, which is nice. So I could probably put down Both of these, I would say Mother's Day brunch at Heritage Hill, 11 a.m. And then I can say Mother's day dinner at Anna's at 2 p.m. That doesn't look the best, but it's okay. <laughs> and then I just want to stick down the little cute balloons just because I love these. And we're celebrating all the moms that weekend. So, I think that's probably where I'm going to wrap it up. Again, I am really sorry for, you know, everything that happened with the whole recording situation. That really, really stinks. And I'm very sad about that. Um, just going to put in a little, a couple little icons just to spruce it up a little bit. Other than that, I am going to let you guys go because 
I am quite sad that that uh, I sat here talking about literally everything. I don't know what you guys heard, but I literally talked about my mom's surprise bridal shower. I talked about her surprise 50th. I did all of this. And um, yeah, if I literally got none of that, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> I told you guys exactly what was going on in my life, what I was expecting for the next few months, and everything. I literally spilled my whole heart out, and I don't even know if it got it, so I'm very sad right now. So I'm gonna go, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, <laughs> even though it's very odd. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for my weekly check-in. Bye, guys. Oh.